I'm back here with video 15 and here I'm going to start showing you some of the things that I've done in my invention. Here's kind of close up here. I've kind of put this motor on the outside. I did a little changes on the inside of here as you can see. Uh, everything, you know, you got to try different gears and different things and that. Um, what I did over here, it's kind of a kind of laid out over here. I'm just trying to show you some stuff. Uh, here's one of the uh, lever arms I was working with. You can see how much thicker it is. Here's the uh, here's a previous one, and then here's a new one. As you know, it's a little thicker through here, so that ch changes the dynamics of it a little bit. Uh, I put some holes in here to lighten it up. Radius this to make it look a little better than that. This one's just, this is the old one out of here, out of this invention over here. Here's the other one. I'm working on my new uh, upgraded one. Over here, I uh, zoom right on in. I notch these out, put them in a little slot so I could move these things back and forth, these magnets. And I also slotted out the top ones so I can uh, move them in and out as I want to. Here's another one. See how that's slotted? This way I could adjust it in and out. Been trying all different types of gears and stuff. Here's. Uh, the other end of it. As you can see, uh, spent a lot of time working on trying to get the speed that I want, you know, the exact speed. Uh, let me fire this thing up and I'll show you what's going on here. You see it. Really flying along here. Faster. Kind of take a new one. It's running faster than it ever did. I'm uh, trying to get the rest of the uh, arms in there. Let me back on out. And that thing's really moving along. I get all those run like that. It's just almost a blur how fast that thing is running. I'm trying to get more lever arms in here. Start tuning it. This up here is just kind of like bent. You can see it wobbling a little bit. I gotta straighten that out. But it, it's just flying along. Hey, let me show you something over here. I can, uh, I can stop this lever arm. I need to go. And it'll take off. Same thing with this lever arm. I can stop it from moving. And I just release it. Yeah, it takes off. Pretty cool. Hopefully I can get the rest of them all to run real good like this. I mean, this thing's just flying along. You can see that. I mean, that thing's <laughs> Take a look from the side here. Be right on in. Almost a blur. I'm going to have them all running just like that, all the way down the line. I'd like to. I'm working on it. It's not easy to do. But it. Um. Let me untook this a minute here. As you can see, I could just grab one of these arms, and I held it still, and it took off. 
when I leave go of it. And this one over here too. So that just kind of tells you it's, you know, I'm not hitting it with my finger or anything. I mean, I totally stopped it and it took off. So the trick is right now, I want to start getting some of these other ones to run here all the way down the line here. And at, he's trying out different weights. Uh, I got some stuff he's making up over here, some of these weights and stuff. Trying out different weights and different things and trying to see what's going to work. He's even got different motors. I picked up this other motor. I don't know, it's kind of a big motor in that. Maybe later on I'll try that one out. I don't know, I'll see what's going on. Right now I just got this other little tiny motor in there. Um, as you can see, it's going to take a lot of time to tune all these and that. Uh, what also what I had was uh, I had like coal roll and it was kind of sloppy like this here's some coal roll steel and it was like a thousandths and a half on the bearings and it was just kind of a little too sloppy so I ordered some special steel in that, and then I polished it down to fit in here I accidentally dent bent this end here on it but I'll straighten that out I'll put it in the lathe and straighten that out that's no problem and I'm trying to figure out which different magnets in here uh, as you can see these are grade 52 and over there is grade 42 and then I got one magnet there and over here I got them doubled up so there's different things and different magnets and different strengths in here. This thing's you know a little complicated to build. You know you gotta have everything right. You know the speeds, how fast it goes. If it turns too slow, it's not gonna work. If it turns too fast, it's not gonna work. You gotta hit the right speed. You gotta have the right magnets in the right spots and all that. And you just can't duplicate all the way along here what I'm trying to say it you're gonna have to have different power magnets you because the reason why you need stronger magnets is this is right this is the lever arm where it kinda of kicks in so what you're gonna to have to need is this to kinda of get the motion of it get gone and then it feeds these other ones all the way down the line here but you don't want them too stiff on these other magnets over here because if you get them too stiff, then when you go along here, it's not, you know, it's not going to transfer the motion, and it's not going to have that wave effect. So this thing's a little bit more sophisticated than that, than what it seems in that. Here, I'll just fire it up one more time, and maybe run it the other direction, see how it goes. Yeah, it works the other direction too, as you can see. I got the lever on. That yeah, takes off. And this other one, I'll stop it. Release it. And I'm not flinging them or anything. I'm just releasing them with my hand. That's all I'm doing. See how both of them stop? Release it. Takes off. So, in other words, it'll oscillate either way. I could change the, change it around, make it run the other direction. Doesn't really matter which way you're running it. it Seems to run better this direction. But if, if that thing's really shooting in, let me uh, go in. I mean, that's flying along there. So I'll let me unhook it here. So what I'm going to do is get these magnets on order and start getting this thing buttoned up. This is video 15. You know, it's just going to be a little bit of process. I did a lot of drilling in that and the counterweights, and it takes time. So just you know, hang in there. You're going to see it all run. I'll let you go. Goodbye.